Like all VDOT employees, Bridget Donaldson does her part to keep Virginia moving. She is dedicated to the safety of all Virginia's travelers, those on four wheels and those on four legs. Bridget monitors special animal crossings built beneath several roads in the Commonwealth. These structures are designed specifically to allow animals to move more freely in their environment without the danger of having to cross busy Virginia roadways. Well, I have a background in ecology and animal movement. And when I came to VDOT, uh, I had learned that there are some wildlife crossings around the state and that other states have found them to be pretty successful. So I thought it would be a great way to combine ecology with transportation. Throw in a healthy dose of technology, too. Special cameras are being used to monitor animal traffic through several of the crossings. The camera has an infrared sensor to detect heat and motion and it uses an infrared illumination at, at night rather than a flash, so it doesn't spook the animals. Each week, Bridget downloads the images onto her laptop computer and keeps detailed information on the wildlife using the crossings. My most surprising finding has probably been the number of coyotes that use this structure. I knew that they existed in Fairfax County, but I didn't know that they would use a, a crossing like this as frequently as they do. Bridget's research will allow VDOT and other transportation agencies to make more informed ecological decisions. I'd like to find out good locations for animal crossings in Virginia so that if VDOT is doing road construction or road maintenance, they would have, can plan ahead of time for where to locate crossings. I'm finding that they definitely are successful when they're designed and, and located properly. Animals aren't always the only casualties when struck by vehicles. Drivers and passengers are often injured and sometimes killed in collisions with deer. And there's been 330 deer using this passage in the last 11 months and hundreds of other animals. Um, and considering all of them could have crossed the road and potentially been hit, that's pretty significant.